For years, a reputation for being expensive, followed by a pandemic blank, and now a weak Japanese yen looking to regain some strength. Just what can the traveler in Tokyo expect to get from their budget? In this video, let's take a look. So what we hope to do in this video then is answer the question, how much do you need for a day in Tokyo? Now we're talking about this from the point of view of travelers, not a couple of residents like Kevin and I. So what I've done is I've made three daily budgets and itineraries. One of them is a, for budget travelers. The other one is what I've called mid-range. And finally, what I've called uh, affordable luxury. So what we'll do is we'll go through each of these budgets and at the end of each budget, hopefully we'll be able to summarize roughly what you can expect from a day in Tokyo. So we're gonna start off with uh, what I've called, well, my cheap budget, my budget budget for a day. First of all, thinking about where's a good sort of budget place to stay in Tokyo and where you've got access to loads of free stuff and also have a sort of classic Tokyo experience. So I've taken us to uh, Asakusa. So you've got like Sensoji and, and Asakusa Temple and all that sort of stuff. Now I was looking on the internet for cheap places, like youth hostels and the cheapest, well not the cheapest, but I, I found um, options for about 4,000 yen per night. Um, I think there were some cheaper ones. Like if you go to somewhere like um, Ueno or just north of Ueno, there's sort of, what is it called? U Ugui Sudani. They're, that's a kind of more retro faded area, but it's also got a kind of nightlife vibe to it that some people might not like. But you could probably get cheaper rooms there. Anyway, I've gone for Asakusa and 4,000 yen. And I, how does 4,000 yen sound to you? I mean, 4,000 yen is, is very cheap, but unless you are local living in here, yeah. it, might, it might be quite difficult for you to travel on the train in the morning, especially during the like uh, rush hour. Yeah. So um, for tourists, um, it will be best to stay in Asakusa, somewhere close, that yeah. like, in the morning, like they can just walk to the, their like, destination. I think the best the best plan is to uh, stay near Asakusa okay. and relax in the morning. <laughs> yeah and walk, okay. to your, walk to your first like two or three places in the morning. Yeah. Because most of the places open around like 10, right? Uh, yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, you're looking at around 10. I find like Japan's quite a slow country to get started actually, isn't it? A lot of shops and stuff don't open until like 10 o'clock, as you say. But okay, so we're, we're gonna start in Asakusa and what are we gonna do for breakfast? My feeling is that at 4,000 yen a night in a youth hostel, you might get some like bread and coffee free. Okay, so you might, banana. yeah, maybe. But if not, I'm gonna go to a convenience store. I'm gonna get like a melon pan and a coffee, and that's gonna be what three hundred yen. So yeah, what I like about Asakusa is there's loads of free stuff. So like the main site of Asakusa, Sensoji Temple, uh, Asakusa Shrine. That's all free, right? Yep, I love free stuff. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So in the morning, I'm gonna walk around uh, Sensoji. You can also go to the river. You can see Sky Tree. You can see the golden poo thing on top of the yeah. asset. What's it? that? It's Is like it? a... Um... Just an object, right? It's like a building, yeah, right? It's it's the headquarters of the beer company, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Asahi beer. I think, yeah, really. I think it's Asahi beer, yeah. There's the Asakusa Cultural Tourist Information Center, which is on the corner just across the road from the Kaminari Mon, the famous gate. Mm -hmm. And you can go up to the top of that and you get that sort of famous view of, uh, I think it's called Nakamise Dori, mm -hmm. which is. I mean, you'll have seen it all on all the social media pictures, but if you want that picture, that's free. Yeah. There's Nakamise Dori's got loads of, the, that's the street with all the stalls on it. All the snack, like yeah. um, traditional <clears throat> um, wagashi. Wagashi, snack, yeah, yeah. yeah, Japanese snacks. You get your fake ninja throwing stars and all that sort of nonsense from there. So loads of free stuff to do. If you do want to do some activities, I've got Omikuji. <laughs> Which is like the omikuji is the what prediction, right? Like, yeah. uh, like fortune telling. Fortune telling at the the shrine or the yeah. temple, and that's like a hundred yen. Yeah. I but guess. I mean, you have to read a little bit of Japanese because like they 
I don't know if they're English or not, mostly That's they don't. Point. But they usually have like three categories, like you have good luck, like yeah. mm, normal, normal, and bad luck or super bad luck. Yeah, right? yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. The other thing I've got is now Asakusa and like any kind of temp. Uh, I don't know. Asakusa is famous for ningyo yaki, which is the um, like the sweet paste, right? grilled bread with red bean paste in the middle of it. There's quite a famous shop on Nakamise Dori. And you can get like a set of ningyo yaki for 500 yen, I think. The other thing you can do is, and this doesn't come under budget, but uh, you can do a rickshaw thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it says like someone carry, uh, like pulling you, right? On yeah, a yeah, yeah. small car. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But I never do that in Japan. So like, I live here for like 10 years, but I never yeah. try any. It's too expensive, right? Exactly. Well, this is what I've discovered. I was surprised to find out that it's like 10,000 yen per person for 30 minutes. If it's two person, it's like... So that's 20,000 yeah, yeah, for two people? Wow. How do you feel about kimono rental? It's not real kimono, it's like yukata, I think. Oh, okay, right. right. I yeah. don't know. I don't know. I mean, if it's real kimono, it's going to cost like, I don't know, $1,000. If they make it $1,000, oh, $2,000, okay. so I don't think they will let you rental it. Oh, so I see what you mean. the yeah. one that rental is like the cheap version. It's probably, yeah. 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 It's all, all printed, it's not like stitching. But it's quite a popular experience these days. Rent a yukata or a kimono, you know, go walk around this kind of atmospheric streets. And I looked that up and I've come up with about, looking at around 2,500 yen for, I can't, I can't remember, I don't think it was a whole day, it was like a couple of day, hours yeah. or something. The other thing I've gone is, obviously, omiyage. Nakamise Dori has got loads of um, stuff, loads of snacks. Uh, and also like the, as I said, like fake ninja throwing stars, those cats that maneke neko, I think they're called. If you were to go to Asakusa and you've got like 500 to 1000 yen budget for souvenirs, what are you buying, do you think? I'd probably buy those snacks that they make it fresh. Okay. Because like most of the other souvenir, like, like ninja throwing star or knife or like uh, yeah. kimono, those are made in China most of the, most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I get that. Um, also, I've got, uh, there's, they do river cruises around Asakusa, Asakusa. again, uh, maybe with, this is within a budget experience. I've got like 800, well, from around about 800 yen to one, well, let's say 2,000 yen, get you like a river cruise. You would go from like Asakusa to, I want to say somewhere, where would you go? Like maybe, can you go as far as um, Odaiba maybe? Odaiba, yeah. Something like yeah. that. That could be an option. For lunch, as you said, well, I'm going to go with like a gyudon, somewhere like a Yoshinoya. But well, you're looking at what, like 500 yen maybe for a bowl of rice and meat, you use beef Maybe on top so. of that. Yeah. Apart from like gyudon, what else could you get for 500 yen, do you think? You can probably buy like a obendo, like in a convenience store, you can buy like a like bendo box. Yeah. So it's like there's microwave in the, in the convenience store you can use. So you can get like a probably like a nori ban. Nori ban is like, like a seaweed like bando okay. for like, I don't know, three, three, four, four to five hundred yen. Okay, yeah. So it's quite cheap or get some onigiri. So that's what I'm doing for lunch. Then what I'm doing is I'm leaving Asakusa and I'm going to take the train. Am I going to take the train? Yeah. I'm going to take the train to... The Ueno. Ueno. Yeah. I'm going to Ueno. <laughs> I suppose you could walk from Weno to Asakusa, actually. Yes, you can. Probably 20 minutes, right? Yeah, 20, 30 minutes. So that's fine, I think. And what am I doing in Weno? Again, more free stuff in Weno. Amiya Yokocho, the market area. Weno Park, of course. I think the Tokyo Metropolitan Art Museum is free, maybe, for like the, not for like limited exhibitions but for standard exhibitions i think it might be free there's also like window shopping in like there's that famous toy store yoshin is it yoshinoya yamashiroya is, it? Yoshinoya is the gyudon plate yamashiroya that's really cool so loads of free stuff to do in weno but if you were looking to spend a bit of money i think the tokyo national museum I, in my opinion if you're going to go to any museum in tokyo this is probably a good place to start that's 1000 yen for regular entry i think in weno park you could go boating on the ponds i've got like 500 to 800 yen for that 
There's also quite a fancy Starbucks in Wenno Park. Um, so if you wanted a coffee at Starbucks, how much is a coffee at Starbucks, do you think? Probably 700. 700, yeah. yeah. Okay, so that's an expensive coffee. But the Starbucks in Wenno Park is quite nice. Good luck getting a seat in any Starbucks in Japan. But yeah, uh, that's what I'm doing in, uh, in Wenno anyway. Any other suggestions for Wenno, Kevin, do you think? Um, I think Wenno is famous for antique, right? Okay. Antique Could be. or like a. Um, Clothing, the military clothing, or those kind of things. Oh, okay, right, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not real one, but it's like um, style, pretty secondhand stuff. Okay. Yeah. In uh, what's that in Amea? Amea Yokosuka. Yeah. On that street. Yeah. I mean, on that street, you can buy a lot of snack if you're still hungry after the gudon. <laughs> yeah, so you can buy many snack and. Yeah. yeah, look at those shops, or antique shop. Yeah, yeah. From when I'm going to go to Akihabara, I'm going to have some ramen. Um, I mean, places like Ichiran Ramen, that, that's a famous ramen chain store, which I think is fairly visitor friendly, lots of English and stuff going on there. But it's not the best ramen. You see, I'm one of these people that doesn't really understand Japan's obsession with ramen. Like, I don't understand it, but I suppose it is a famous dish, so if you were going to come to Japan, you might want to try it. A cheap ramen, well, I've looked it up, uh, Ichiran ramen is what, 900 yen, to say 1,500 yen? It's quite cheap. I think Most that's alright, yeah. A yeah. lot of like small like um, ramen shop is like 1,100, 1,200. Okay. Um, for example, like um, Nijiro. 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 Jiro ramen, uh, Jiro. 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 Okay. The big huge one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's quite huge fine for like 1,200 yen, I guess. Okay, alright, okay. But like um, Ichiran, Ichiran ramen is it's a tourist place or when you get really drunk and then <laughs> four or five in the morning. Yeah. That's the only shop ramen shop is open. So okay. China, that's where you will go like go the, there. The staple for drunk people. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean for good ramen shop they usually close very early. Okay, so dinner is ramen and then finally we're in Akihabara. Uh, again, you can go from uh, Ueno to Akihabara on the train is about 150 yen. And in Akihabara, again, more free stuff. Again, loads of people watching in Akihabara. Lots of very interesting, weird yeah. and wonderful people in Akihabara. There's otaku, there's like May okay. cafe, there's yeah. like a crossplay. On yeah. Saturday, on Sunday, it's, they close the street. It's like a walking, um, walking street. Yeah, there's or, pedestrianized. Yeah, pedestrian they? yeah they, do, they close it off. I think it's is it Chuogori, I think they yeah. call it the big main street. Right. There's a lot of people doing like cosplay and photo shoot there. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely yeah. It's definitely like a a cool place to go. You know, again, just for people watching. Really, maybe, maybe not to everybody's tastes, I guess, but. Um, it's, it's an interesting experience, I think. People watching, obviously, the electronic stores. I, actually, I don't, I don't want to disappoint people here, but is, is Akihabara really that great for electronics? I, I don't, it's I a usually, stereotype. Not but really. Like, yeah, I, don't. I usually just go to um, the camera, they still, everything's yeah. still the same. Yeah, you, yeah, it is. Yeah. Unless you're buying some like anime stuff, like, um, yeah. Those like uh, anime model, like uh, right. in Japan they call it like a uh, pura model. Pura model, yeah. Pura model, yeah. but uh, it's just like um, figure. Yeah. A like, plastic figure, or people go there for like gacha gacha, like those like oh, okay. toy, the mini toys for like yeah. 300 yen. Yeah, it's probably about that. Yeah. yeah. If we're talking activities, obviously Akihabara, you're thinking Maid Cafe. cafe yeah which I looked it up is admission from 1,500 yen. That includes a drink, but there's all sorts of little extras that you can throw into on top of yeah. that. I've been to a maid cafe. It, honest to God, it's one of the weirdest things I've ever done. I can't recommend it, but. No, I've been there once, but I, I don't really like it, but it's a good experience. Like, it's like, wow, it's like, it's crazy. It like, is. why would anyone want to do that? <laughs> yeah. But you don't go, I mean, you go there, don't really see the maid cafe. For the few uh, work there, you want to see there like some otaku. Right. So they sometimes like, people have a collection book. Right. For like, the, usually like you go to the maid cafe and sometimes they take, a, you can pay 500 yen and then take a photo and they sign it. Yeah. yeah. And some people, Otaku, yeah. they have a book like collecting from each shop. Okay. So oh, that's okay. quite interesting. Some serious collecting yeah. going on. Yeah. So there is it's like eye-opening experience. The other thing is Purikura, like the photograph booths. 
If you can figure out how to work them, they're really popular. Um, 500 yen for that, I think. And then there's loads of game centers or what, yeah. what we would call perhaps arcade centers. And you're probably looking at what, 100 yen ago for each but thing, maybe? You probably need at least 2,000 yen to get anything in each machine. <laughs> okay, right. You yeah. probably miss a lot because like, uh, unless you're a professional. <laughs> right. For me, it usually costs me a lot more than just buying it. Okay, yeah, like the UFO capture yeah. type thing. I usually yeah. miss a lot and then yeah. end up spending more than I can just go to buy it in the shop. Yeah, okay, okay. Then, of course, we need to get back to our hotel, our sort of hostel in Asakusa. So you were looking, I looked it up from uh, Ueno, where it's with uh, Akihabara to Asakusa. You're looking at about 180 yen on the train for that. So that brings us to the end of the day. We're just going straight to bed. <laughs> no partying, no drinks. We're on the budget. We're in Akihabara. Then we're going straight to bed. But I mean, uh, you can go to buy, buy some like uh, beer from convenience store and bring it back to... Could do so, that. Yeah, so could do that. Yeah. yeah. Maybe 200 yen for a small can of beer, I reckon, yeah. from the convenience store. So minimum budget then, just the very basics, meals, accommodation, and maybe some transport, like a couple of trains here and there. I've come up with 6,000 yen for a day. That's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap, but it still sounds like quite a lot to me. If we want a bit more room to breathe, to do some shopping, buy some snacks in Asakusa maybe, maybe go to a museum, get a coffee, maybe do something like Purikura or a game center in Akihabara, and then cover all of our transport for the day, I've come up with around about 9,000 yen. Yeah. What do you think? That's pretty good, I think. Pretty good. Most, most of the cost is in accommodation. Yeah. So it's, it's impossible to get lower than 4,000 yen unless you're really local. Yeah. And then you go, you have to walk, go to some hotel that is like 10 to 20 minutes away from the station. That would yeah. be really cheap. Yeah. But um, unless you're lo you are local, you're living here, your Japanese is really good, then it's almost impossible. Food is cheap, like, I don't know, yeah. 300 yen, 500 yen. Yeah. And, uh, like transportation is cheap, like 200 yen, you yeah. can far away. So there you have it. Our budget and budget for a day in Tokyo, including accommodation. We hope that helps you with your own budgeting and trips to the city. Of course, the prices we've mentioned in this video should only be seen as a rough guide and are, of course, subject to fluctuations and change, so be sure to do your own research too. If you're interested in videos covering mid-range or luxury budgets for a day in Tokyo, be sure to let us know in the comments. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you next time.